It's incredible. I, I don't know if there's a dog park as good as this anywhere in the country. I don't know if you've been out long, seen how, how vast it is. Um, you know, and they've got the sit and stay cafe and they've got mud puppies so you can buy, you know, think toys for your dog or get your dog washed. She has to see me otherwise she's a worry work. You're being a good girl, you're on the camera. I think it's one of the best resources for, for dogs and people with dogs because it gives people exercise, gets people out, you know, the scenery is just beautiful. There are not that many off-leash dog parks now and there are um, some people who are actively trying to close down the, some of the ones that we have or restrict the amount of off-leash area on those parks um, for various reasons of danger such as the dogs might bite people or scare children. Um, but in fact, there are very few incidences that have been reported, given that, for example, at this park, there are uh, a million people a year come here. Well, the park is about 40 acres now. There's one section across the channel. Uh, it's a large peninsula. It belongs to the state of California. They bought it. And uh, it is going to become a part of what's called the East Shore State Park. But the park hasn't really been developed that much because the state has no money to do it. Uh, this part of the park that you're in actually belongs to the U.S. Post Office. and the. Uh, a regional park district rents it for like about a dollar a year.